Hi guys, my name is Vito Ali Victor, the instructor and tutor from my Juvix of Tech Solutions. Today we shall be looking at how to generate contour map from a XYZ data on Excel. So you can see I have my XYZ data here already. Where is it? I have it here. Oh, sorry. I have it here already on a contour blah 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 so I have it here with my spot height let me open it so that you see you can see I have my XYZ data um, so with this I'm going to generate my contour map on a arc map so from there I go back to my arc map then from here I'll go to add layer I can pick it from here like you know so add data so I have it I have it here already but assuming it's not here I can still go here back then go to um, this PC so I go to desktop then I go to this I select the folder I click OK then I have this pop up so can see from this GUI, I click I select um spot types to CSV that's the file extension that CSV is the file extension. So from here I right click on a spot types CSV and then display XYZ data. See I have my X for X feed, a Y for Y feed and Z that's not we supposed not to be. So instead of that I'll pick Z for Z, then I go to you can see I have set this already, but I don't think it's not there, no special reference. Properties, so I have to select that you know for this data when it was picked. I mean, this one for during the acquisition, the the the, the current system was on a WGS 34 ETN zoom 31. So I select this as a coordinate system, click OK. And I'll click OK. Yes, yeah, it pop up this message. Uh, yeah, I click OK. Don't worry. You can see I have my um, exact data, the spot type rather. I have it here. So from this, um, I have to convert this one to um, shape file. So I go. I right click on this. I right click on this. So I come here data and go to export data and from there oh, okay let me select the directory I wanted to save my data to um, oh, where is it okay yes I wanted to save it inside this I'll open it let me give it a name Give it a name M contour, my contour. Contour. See, I have this shift file. Click OK. And I click OK. Fine. So it will add it. Yeah, that's it. So I can discard this. I can remove it from my reason because I have the shift file already. So from here, the next thing to do is. Just to come here, I'll go to my 3D analyst tool. So from there, the first thing I will do because I'm having my XY data, I have to create a thing. All those thing mean thing uh, means a triangular irregular network. So I have to create that in order to create my shape file. Well, I'll create my contour. So uh, that's the first step. I'll create thing on this rating to so, so pop up the GUI so on pop up yeah you can see create team yeah let's put in so I'll select where I want it to 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 put my team file so I can come to connect to folder I'll go to this you see click on this and select this folder click ok 
okay I can uh, I have it here already oh okay I can check here All right. or probably I go to C so from C uh, I have all this blah 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 I have desktop so okay it's not here so okay I have this already so from here I'll, I'm going to look for that folder um, control control this is my control back here this PC then I'll click on I'll click on that oh it's not displayed here right now okay I can go like this like this Uh, yeah I have it here ready so I select I open this then from here I put team M team my team team that's team data sets click OK so I'll select the coordinate system which I want it to be which is WGS 1984 um ETM zone 31 so I have this and I uh, input the feature class which feature class I want to use um I'll go to that shift file that control that's XYZ data so I select it so from there I'll just click OK so from there to so see I started creating the team file for me so once it's done you can see like it's on, you can see on your screen that's the team file you can see that's created the team file for me so from this you can see anything in the revisions so from this team file I can I have to convert it to raster so that I'll be able to generate my contour so I'll click on um, you see from 3D analysis from the conversion from conversion from team to what to raster so I select this so input team as empty yeah then where I do I want to put it I'll select um okay it's on contour folder already contour hack folder so Select Rasta, call it M Rasta, M Rasta, Rasta. So I click OK. So I can click OK from here. So to continue, you can see, see convert it to Rasta. So it has converted to Rasta. So I have minimum height to be uh, 97.3405 why the is and uh, one, 109.163 so from this i can you can see let me close this so that you see your uh, okay you can see this is the raster format so from here let me see Okay, so you come to add to boss again, then you go to um, special analyst tools, then from there you go to surface, and from surface you come to contour, 
you can see I have some other things found to do slope or uh, whatever whatever you can see you can see all those things here but I'll prefer this on top with barrier so you can see I click on this so I'll double click on this so from there I input my raster that's M raster I've not selected it so click on M raster input barrier feature see I don't have anything there so I don't need that it's optional you know put anything there and the polyline whatever it's not a polygon it's be in polyline so the output feature let me change this directory um from here um, at least let me call it um contour w b contour with barrier or w b then i'll save it so from there next thing i'll do okay so value blah 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 so all these are optional so okay <laughs> for the base contour okay it's optional this one contour interval i can change the contour interval if i like i can change it to 0 0.2 or 0 0.4 then for the base for the index contour that one will be the thick one the thick contour line you know it will be probably in the interval of um, 1.2 2 or 1.0 I should be having tick on the line that's what in the in this means or oh, okay let me use 0 0.8 so that means at the end of each 444 contour line I'll be having that tick on the value so um that's all so can go ahead and click okay so Generating the contour for me already. So I know it's I have my contour map. Wow, this is fantastic. You can see it's so interesting. So see I have my contour map already. You can see it's my contour map. See how it looks. See how it looks. See how it looks. It's fantastic, right? See, see how it looks. As my contour map, then from this, um, I can label if I want to. I can label it. Oh, I label it if I want to. Let's see, so I can label it, and I can do the settings. For labeling, if I want to label, I can do the settings. Um, let's see, I'll place it line out above and parallel, blah blah blah. Let's see, I click OK. Okay, then um, from here, can select the color I want it to be. Mm. Let me use this. Then, can change the expression if I want to, you know, I can put, I can put the, from here, I'll be able to put the the um, units if I want to. So, but we don't have to right now. We just our aim is to to plot contour map. So I don't need to. I will talk on that in my next class. How to label, how to put units, wherever on it. So. For me, I click apply, click OK, then I can 
the settings for this line too you know on the settings for this line and change the color um come here change the color uh, i can click on this i think that was what i used the other time so you can see my contour i can put it as black if i want to let me deliver i can put it as black so that it's very all the color mm -hmm. put it as black apply okay so you have your like Thank you very much. I remain myself, Ibito Alvito, tutor and instructor from Enjovic Softex Solutions. Um, bye bye. See you guys later. Mm.